Okay, here we go. So today we're setting up DOS games on CD. And um, I got a, cool, a couple games over here. We're gonna, and these are games that are on CD. Um, and we're basically gonna walk through just kind of the way that it, that it works. So I have three different games. Um, I have a copy of uh, Monkey Madness, which is a LucasArts compilation of Monkey Island 1 and Monkey Island 2. And um, it's the DOS version of Monkey Island that uh, has a Redbook audio soundtrack. So it has really, really nice, they did a really, really nice job with the music for Monkey Island 1. Monkey Island 2 um, is just the, main, the regular DOS version with uh, the MIDI, MIDI music throughout. So we're gonna do Monkey Island. I have Air Bucks. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. And I have Warcraft 1. So let's uh, get started. So I'm going to put the CD in for Monkey Island. And this is the best part. Oh, we have another viewer. Hello. So, um, it detects the DOS game, and then we have the D prompt. D for the um, disk. You know, there's the drive C is the hard drive, and um, D is the disk. And so since there's a disk in there, we have the D prompt. And um, what I have on my phone is um, the app that's going to be working with CD to basically use a keyboard. So the disk is in and I've typed the dir command and here's what we have. Um, so let's do monkey island one. Oh, CD space. I can't spell monkey. I'll use tab to auto complete. And let's see what files are in there. Monkey.exe. We're gonna run that. Listen to that. Amazing Red Book audio soundtrack. Such a classic. All right, so I'm gonna press escape on the keyboard to go to the next thing that happens here. So there's these, um, LucasArts did a couple different um, remastered versions of Monkey Island with, I think, uh, full voice. And then they had um, read on graphics, but you could switch between the old graphics and the new graphics. Those are pretty sweet. Go talk to the pirate leaders in the scum bar. Let us go to the scum bar. I just love playing these games. Okay, somebody else hopped on. We had somebody before and they took off. We get somebody new. How's it going? It is a lovely Friday night for some DOS action, wouldn't you say? 
voice is a little raspy. So here we are on Melee Island. So what I'm doing right now is using the controller, um, the the joystick on the controller to move the mouse around, and then clicking with the um, analog, or the sorry, the analog, the second trigger. So basically, it's a mouse click. All right, we want to go over here, and then I can also use my phone as a keyboard. And that's one way to do this. There's there's no way to go wrong. You can use a real mouse and keyboard, um, or you can use the app, or you can map keys to the controller. Um, there's a lot of ways to get it working. It's kind of like, depends on the game. But for a game like this, this is, this is pretty sweet. Um, which is the pirate that talks about Loom. There's a pirate in here that talks about Loom. Uh, maybe it's just random which one it is. And he, and he sells you on the game Loom, which is an awesome game. Oh, hey there. It's not this one. Alright. So, Monkey Island running um, off the CD in DOS on CD. So um, we're gonna we're gonna do the next game. Yeah, I'm gonna pop this one out. A um, you manage the airline. So we're gonna go back to the deed prompt, okay? And uh, let's see what's on the Airbox CD. We have install.exe. Let's go ahead and run that. Source drive D, destination drive C, okay, okay, and it's going to melt some files to install them. This is the best part. Friday night, melting some files. Melting down 1972. Melting down 1987. Oh, nope, skip 1987. Okay, got some raw files, some more raw files to go here. I wonder if the crickets are coming through the mic. Actually, <laughs> CD system, Chris, do you actually hear the crickets on the audio? That's the way I like it. We're going to go with some Sound Blaster and save and exit. And I mean, I'm using my phone to hit this. Okay. Uh, Airbox setup has been updated to run Airbox type Airbox. Airbox. So I'm going to hit enter. Boom. So now I'm gonna press escape. See, okay. And here we are in Airbox. And their map. The map and the UI. Let's see. Um how do we start the game here? 
Okay. Uh, I can go buy some planes for my airline. If I want to. Buy a DC three, DC four. Okay. Let's see. What's my budget? What? How much money do I have? Range one thousand. Cost ten thousand. Oh, funds. Derp. That would be a derp. Look at that. Got me a DC three. Look, Ma, I got a DC-3. Oh, hey, Jason. Can you hear the crickets? It's really nice out. Uh, should I refit this airplane or should I move the seats around? Okay, I get first class. I have economy, 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 and then I get cargo space as well. I'm just gonna keep, just gonna keep that the way it is there. Okay, so now, now they have an airplane, what can I do? Is that an airport? Uh, route report. Okay. Okay. Um, assign. Can't do that. I guess exit. Oh, 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 my best friend. Cool, what, what was that about? My best friend? Was that like an advertisement or something? For the other airline? Oh, so Jason, um, Oh, you're catching up on the other stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna pop in Warcraft One. Um, so what we're saying is that compatibility is um, pretty good on games uh, requiring like a 386 or, or below. So it's not like it's not like uh, you're not gonna be able to play Quake, for example, emulated in DOSBox or um, or like MechWarrior 2 or like games with like heavy 3D graphics that were like 46 DX and um, and you know definitely not anything above that for DOS. But there are some there are some cool games. All right, so uh oh, bad weather moving into Palm Beach. All right, we're gonna do a swap out. So next game, we're gonna put in my uh, original Warcraft C. Out comes Airbox. Mm. And Ian's gonna go Warcraft. <clears throat> and uh, so, Jason, I was saying with the, the controls I'm using right now is a uh, I've got a gamepad, um, and I'm using the analog stick as the mouse control, and then the trigger is basically the click, and then I have my uh, phone hooked up as a keyboard, so I can type in stuff. So I pop in the, the Warcraft C game at the D-prompt. Uh, Dur. And this guy has uh, also installed that EXE. So let's run install. And I'm just going to do the minimum install because uh, it's able to read everything off the CD. So it's gonna install to my, um, you know, the, the like C drive area that I set up, that's pre-set up on CD for DOS. Yeah, you can use a USB keyboard as well, or and a USB mouse, or Bluetooth. Got to copy over the data files. All right. And sound setup for Warcraft. Digitized sound card. We're going to go with all the defaults for these. We're going to use the uh, same. Oh, time is up. All right. We're going to. We're going to. 
install this and we're gonna get up and running and then we're trying to keep these demos a little bit shorter. Type of war to start the game. Cool. So this came in an awesome cutscene. In the age of chaos, two factions battled for dominance. The kingdom of Azeroth was a prosperous one. The humans who dwelt there turned the land into a paradise. The knights of Stormwind and the clerics of Norsha Abbey roamed far and wide, cutscene. serving the king's people with honor and justice. The well-trained armies of the king maintained a lasting peace. But what I'm going to do is escape the cutscene. The orcish horde. But we gotta see no the orc shorts. Knew where these creatures oh, I guess it's almost over. And none were prepared for the terror that they spawned. Their warriors wielded axe and spear with deadly. So we saw a couple little hiccups there in the dark woods, in the intro. As the moonless night, unimagined were the destructive powers of their evil magics derived from the but fires of the dark world. With an ingenious arsenal of weaponry and powerful magic, these two forces collide in a contest of cunning. USB floppy. That is a good question. That's something we have not tried. I don't. Welcome to the world. So I guess you should be able to get a USB floppy drive. Um, that is a awesome thing to mention. I, I'm sure we've, we've you know we've talked about that, but let's. Let's look into it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's an option. I'm just the thing is, I'm not sure if a floppy drive is gonna mount the same way as like a universal um, storage device would. All right. Humans or orcs? Let's do orcs. Oh, he sounds like such a whiny orc. Black Hand is a sad group to an outpost. The you feel that you are capable of it. Construct at least six farms so that we may keep our troops well fed and ready to do battle. Only a fool would leave his treasures unguarded. Now if I hop on Amazon and I look up USB floppy. Do I see USB floppies? Yeah. Um, cool. Definitely available. All right, I have I have a bunch of floppies around too. I think I have Tie Fighter floppy disks, uh, among others. Let's uh, give that a try. Okay, so we got our we got our orders for the for the mission here, and. It's loading. This is like a... I don't know if this is actually um, the exact same loading time you'd see running on a 386 or not, but it's not that long. And here we are in the mission. Good old Warcraft. So you gotta explore the map a little bit here. See, move my peon. Cause I wanna have all my guys find where the gold is. Where's that gold? Tabu. Oh, we have located. Okay, I gotta get the peon. You have a job to do. And I think I should be training uh, some more peons. 
I go up here, please? I think I need to tell him, actually, to harvest. You can't just click on it, I don't think. And train another piano. Okay. There we go. Oh, what are the... Do you know any cheats offhand? Warcraft cheats. Warcraft. Cheats. Warcraft 1 cheats. Uh, okay, do the cheat code. Press the enter key, type in the code, and press enter again. Alright, uh, pot of gold. I have to put it with this space. Pot of gold. Okay. Let's see if I can get pot of gold. Uh, pot of gold. Oh crap. Gold. Oh! You ask the have it. I don't think I've ever cheated in this game before. That's awesome. Cool. So there we have Warcraft on uh, on CD, running uh, right installed right off the CD. So that's our demo for tonight. Um, we're gonna think up something good for next demo, and um, we'll be sending out a campaign update tomorrow, um, just to talk about a couple things that have been going on, uh, talk about the status of things, and give a couple new updates. Um, so stay tuned, and uh, thank you all again so much. And have a good weekend and happy Friday night. Hope you enjoyed the DOS footage.